And with me once again is our special guest, multi-platinum artist, Grammy winner, and international singing sensation, an all-around nice guy, I like Michael it when you Bublé. say special because it makes me feel warm, like you, you really are. care. You're special because you're such a great <laughs> performer and you're such Thanks. a great entertainer. You are. It's just you have this magnetic presence on stage. But people forget maybe that you're also a great songwriter. Thanks. You know, you're the songs that have gone to number one, home, everything, and the recent haven't met you yet. Yeah. Talk me talk to me about your songwriting process. I think I write in a very emotional way. I think that um, I never really. I mean, honestly, I never learned to read or write. Um, Logistically, I can't go and read a chart or write, but I, whatever I did, I did in my head, and it was always emotional. I started off with a melody, whether it was home or um, whatever song it was. I, I start with the melody, and it tells me what to say. Um, you know, it tells me if the story is going to be hopeful or sad or longing or um, you know, or really happy. And um, it starts there. And I have a great team that uh, I've worked with since since the first record. Uh, I've got Amy uh, Foster, who's of course David's daughter, um, who is a really a hugely talented girl, uh, and Alan Chang, who's my my musical director and my my friend. And um, together we work. It's like an assembly line. I usually come in with the the uh, concept, with the idea, with the, the maybe the verse and the, the what the chorus will be, um, what the song is about, maybe the first few lines, and then we all sit together and we start to, to kind of hammer it out. And um, it's been very cool. It's been a great partnership with those two. And uh, we're really proud of what we've done. And we're, pr you know, and personally, I'm really proud that, you know, when I signed, um, you know, I was supposed to be, you know, the interpreter, the guy that was gonna sing all the this classics and this and that. And um, I, knew, I, I knew that I wanted to be a songwriter. Um, and I fought hard to have that first song, Home, put on the record. Um, it wasn't easy, um, but once I sort of won the fight and got it on there and it became a hit, obviously it became easier for me to sort of, you know, do this and um, so it's been a joy and uh, I can't say that I enjoy doing originals more than I do singing standards because I, I enjoy them both, it's just a little different process. What can you tell PBS audiences about public broadcasting and the fact that your concerts on PBS, why is that important to you? Well, I can tell you probably on behalf of all artists that uh, it's one of the few places that you get to see a full show and that the integrity of the artist is, is kept sacred. I mean, um, you know, the, nothing's getting changed or messed with and you're getting to see, um, you know, the vision, um, the, the vision at the end, with the, the way that we actually uh, hoped it would be. So I think that's important to a lot of artists. And I think it's probably important to a lot of fans, real fans that watch it and, and want to see that truth. Michael, thank you so much for taking the time out and hanging out with us here in our studios. No, thank you for putting up with me and thank uh, you for the support. You I know, appreciate it. To quote one of your songs, baby, you definitely got what it takes. I'm so much. glad to have met you. Likewise. And thank you for your support. If you haven't yet called, please call the number on your screen. And when you do, here's how we'll thank you for your support.